Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sunday shout out and I have some time with an amazing drummer friend of mine and he plays on the track that's just recently released called Struggle. Everybody please meet Joe Backwood. Yay! Hey! Hello! Hey! Thanks for oh. having me. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy that we could have our chat today. This is wonderful. <laughs> I and, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and to talk with a drummer as well, because I haven't had a drummer on Sunday Shout Out yet. Yeah, it was about time. <laughs> ah, definitely. <laughs> we are ready. We are here right now. <laughs> So yeah, it was amazing for you to play on Struggle and you are on a few other tracks on the album, but we're going to talk yes. about Struggle and, and talk about mm -hmm. how we met and all of that. And yeah. um, also about your name. So I'm introducing <laughs> you <laughs> as Joe Backward, but yes. we also call you Seppi, which is a, this yes. awesome nickname that everyone calls you. But your yeah. real name, my best pronunciation of saying it is Joseph Hinterhussel. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, do you thought, say it? <laughs> uh, actually, actually, we say Joseph Hinterhussel. 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 Okay, it's the Hurts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, it's the. A uh, hurtful is like a small piece of wood. Oh. So, and hinter is like, it's hard to translate. It's may maybe in the back of something or behind something. So, and that's, you know, I, I always had the problem that English speaking people, <laughs> it's it's hard for English speaking people to, to pronounce my name. So yes. we always had fun about that and I, I can remember it's cool actually it was one of my teachers who came up with the with the translation for back for Hinterhölzl which is like backwood or backwoodle or something like this and wow. so that's where it comes from actually so and I thought it's pretty good actually backwood sounds pretty international <laughs> I love it no it really does and it's much easier to say as well <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing so yeah you have your own act as backward five yes well. i have i do it together with stefan rettenbacher yeah. yeah he's doing he's doing all the the music or he's writing the music for this band and we do some jazz funk stuff in with five people it's uh bass guitar keys drums and saxophone and yeah, we came up with that about also almost four, four and a half years ago. Yeah, together with Stefan, we made the I made the plan with Stefan, and we I asked some some of my uh, funk colleagues here <laughs> in Austria, and yeah, so we came together, and we it's pretty fun actually I playing love with this it. band. Are you wearing their yeah. t-shirt right now? Your t-shirt rather. No, no, no. It looks no. like a little five. <laughs> no. No, it's it's actually it's a fork teacher uh t-shirt. Oh. A fork is a is a, is also a band. So, uh it's one of the snacky puppy guys. Yeah. If I'm right. Huh? I'm, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, we're yeah, all... but you're right. Maybe I should have I should have <laughs> Put on my back with five shirts. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good that we can talk about it because it, you have such great musicianship together. And I, I've seen you yeah. doing your instrumental gigs. And I've also had the pleasure to sing with you as well, to do it as a yes. Backward Five featuring Helena May. And yes. a amazing gig that I look back on dearly was when we did Porgy and Bess in yeah, Vienna. Jazz Fest, Vienna yeah yeah it was a pretty cool gig at the Porgy yeah. actually so Back I can remember it was yeah it's, I think three years now almost or that's was really it? No, scary two, no it was 2019 no two years yeah 2019 yes exactly 
Yeah, 2018, we did our first back to five gig at the Porgy. That's why. Ah, did you? We did a we did an instrumental show there. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, just fond memories of the last time. I think that was probably the last proper, like, nice, big audience live gig yeah. <laughs> that yeah. I think and that maybe most of us have done. <laughs> yeah, and the Porgy is pretty special here as well. It's like, maybe you can compare with the Ronnie Scott in London. It's like the, the chess club in Vienna where all the all the great acts it is are performing, definitely so. it is one of those bucket lists like tick off venues yeah, for yeah. sure <laughs> definitely definitely so good i hope we can do it again someday <laughs> oh i would love that yes hopefully with the helena may yeah. album fingers crossed yeah, yeah fingers crossed <laughs> that would be amazing definitely yeah. and to have you on the kit live as well and that would be super and there are some amazing guys uh, from the album as well that we've worked together with and, and live uh, arrangements and situations. Mm -hmm. So it'd be really nice to have all of them. Yeah, I'm really yeah. looking forward to to play the stuff live or like in a band context for the first time. So we didn't have the chance now, so. No, not yet. Like we've done recently, Johnny and I, guitarist yeah. Johnny we got together at Sheepo Studios and did some acoustic versions which mm -hmm. was really nice of Diamond and Funkalicious and it was nice to actually get up and sing again and a little mm -hmm. bit of shock to both of our systems as well I think from <laughs> only having you know a whole year out like, have you yeah. have you been playing have you done any any live stuff or any live streaming recently uh, yeah we did some we did some uh live streaming shows with uh with another band i mean it's the austrian funk band hop and yeah. Rock club uh and we did a streaming gig and we did we did some live shows in summer yeah. but since summer it's everything's out at the moment so I played my last gig at the end of September, I think. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So nothing too recent then. <sighs> September. Nope. Long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty long time. So I can't wait to get back on stage again. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. And the Hot Pants Road Club yeah. are awesome. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Definitely. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about struggle. When you recorded with it, you mm -hmm. actually got to do it live with Jojo Lackner yes. on bass. Yeah. What a we... session I wish I was in the room for. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually back in England and yeah. you guys were working away, you, Jojo and Fabian, and Fabian was sending me videos and, and, mm -hmm. and clips and things. And yeah, I'm just so thankful you guys could get together and, and do it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, How was it? <laughs> How was it for you? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was great. It was exciting because you know it's all. I, for me, it's always exciting getting to the studio and and playing new music, uh, uh, and creating something in this and at that time. So, and we had some we had some sound files before that we can listen to and to get a, to get the idea of the of the of the song. But when you're the, back at the studio then it's you you start from the very beginning and try to to create something and give the song uh, uh another attitude or, yeah. or 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 give it give the song the attitude it needs so and it was very interesting because you know it's like uh Fabian had some ideas Chocho had some ideas I had some ideas and we we really tried to to work the, all those stuff together and yeah it was cool what a team <laughs> very exciting yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> oh yeah it came out so well and i love the fact that we have the live musicianship on the album that was something mm. that was really important to me to to have and 
we're kind of calling it an, a hybrid album, which I think mm-hmm. describes it quite well because there is yeah. programmed elements within it. There is that electronic pop sound, but most mm. importantly, it has the live element. Yeah. And to hear it back with you and Jojo, uh, epic. Loved it, loved it, loved it. <laughs> And then to see all the instrumentation add to it as well. So we've also got Chris Neuschmidt on guitar and we've also yeah. got David Lackner as well on keys. Mm-hmm. So he's there doing the synth vibes and it really just bring it alive. Yeah, definitely. I guess I might know the answer already, but do you enjoy recording <laughs> with other people in the room? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I, I definitely love it more than doing just the drum recording on yeah. my own like there's no one else in the studio so and yeah especially like with Jojo you know we we are also we are also playing together at the Hop and Stroke Club and we we did a lot of shows together and I think we 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 know each other quite yeah. good already so and yeah he's um he's yeah yeah He's a he's a kill on bass. Phenomenal. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you so, too. Yeah. So I think that works out pretty good, and because we know each other that good, and uh, yeah, I think we can rely on each other when we play the stuff. So, and I think I hope that comes out when we play. No, it really course. does. It really does. You two are a great pairing together. You gel mm. so well. I think anyone that works with you is going to have a great gig (laughs) and going to feel secure because you are so I want to say solid which is probably the best way I can the word that comes to mind to me definitely yeah solid secure and a team player and I love that I think it's a for me that's the that's my role actually Hmm. in in a in a band by playing you know it's always like the the drums is like a, a fundament and so and that has to be solid as i said and i think it's it's it, it's not about playing all the stuff around and doing all the fancy fills and whatever i of course we all love to do this too but yeah. but if you if you and sometimes we have to do it <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but if we, if you, especially if you work at the studio I think it's it's more important to lay it down and, and uh, set the groove and uh, and and build this fundament what it needs. And Hell yeah. Maybe it's uh, when you play live. Maybe it's a little bit different because you all you feel it maybe in a bit different way and 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 some stuff coming out at the moment. But at the studio, for me, it's always like be the be the fundament and like a solid rock <laughs> <laughs> well definitely you sound great on it and you sound so good on the other tracks that are going to be revealed really soon and i'm really looking forward to it because there is this awesome awesome funky disco song which is coming <laughs> your way very very soon and Seppi yeah. and jojo are, are on that as well yeah can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration, like where your love of drumming comes from and, and people that you like? Mm. Your history of drumming. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I think I have to start way back, actually. I grew up in a very musical family. So I always, there was always some music around me because my... My, my my grandfather he was the founder of a of a local orchestra here and my father was the conductor and my mother was playing in there my sister and the whole family was involved and they were always like my, my grandparents also taught people who were playing in this orchestra they taught them the instruments how to play it and that's how i it started with me first i played trumpet actually wow. and <laughs> so i start because I think I played trumpet more because my grandfather wanted me to play trumpet. And yeah, there was a, a funny story about that was like, there were some other like classmates of mine who were, who came to my grandfather for trumpet lessons. And of course he had to pay for the trumpet lessons. Uh, and I got the same amount paid by my grandfather that I come to the lesson. So <laughs> 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 that's, that's how I started. But I, 
um, you know, there were these orchestral rehearsals right next to our house in, in, in another building. And I always went there and I always saw the drummer. And there was a very uh, good drummer, actually. He's now a professional drummer too. His, call, his name is Ewald Zach and he was playing in this orchestra. And I always was fascinated by drums and what he did. And so I... Um, I started to 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 go to this other building and did try out to play a little bit. And my grandfather he just taught me how to hold the sticks, and I got my first snare drum stuff going on. And and I, then I built up my first drum set with old drums of my of of the orchestra, which I brought home. And down at the at the basement somewhere, I had my I had my five drums set up and one hi hat, and then I always had my 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 uh, my cassette recorder <laughs> and played to some music, and yeah, that's how it all started. And I think at the age of ten or so, I I got my first drum lessons at the at a music school. Wow! Uh, and yeah, that that was the real beginning then, because I had my regular lessons. And I had a, a, a pretty good drum teacher. His name is Alfred Vollbauer. And he was he was so into music and he, he gave me a lot of stuff and he 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 brought me into music. So because and he opened up the whole the whole spectrum of music. It was not only like playing like rock grooves or or playing jazz or whatever. So it was really everything. And so, cool. so there I got him. He showed me the, all those amazing drummers like Dennis Chambers, which is, I would say, my big, biggest inspiration ever. <laughs> um, and all the other guys like Dave Weckl and Simon Phillips with Toto and yeah, Jeff Bocaro with Toto and so cool. yeah, Vinnie Colyuta, not to forget, <laughs> an all time hero. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's 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 my way. But I also like now the the the, the guys who who play those big pop acts like Justin Timberlake, the drummer. His his name is Brian Fraser Moore, uh, Chris Coleman. Not to forget forget. Uh, yeah, these are the yeah my inspirations. So Still are. many great names. I was actually just thinking about the Justin Timberlake concert that we went to together. Yeah, in London, yeah. <laughs> it was. That's like a blast from the past, but what a <laughs> show that was. Yeah, amazing, really amazing. <laughs> yeah, and if anyone hasn't, like if you out there watching this right now, if you haven't seen Justin Timberlake's band like live. Pff, yeah. Have a little the Tennessee a little Kids. <laughs> That's the one, the Tennessee kids. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ridiculous yeah. musicianship. Uh, yeah. Highly recommended that you go and check out some live stuff with that. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I was even thinking Lettuce as well. There's a funny story because I, I never saw, in the meantime, I saw Lettuce live, but before I saw them the first time, they never came to, they never came to Europe. I think it was once they played shows at the Ronnie Scott but mm. I don't know the reason I couldn't go to London and watch this gig. So, but I think a little later they played some shows in Los Angeles, and a friend of mine who is also a big Letters fan, we were talking about yeah, just fly to LA and uh, <laughs> just so fly then we booked there. we booked our flights to LA and uh, saw Letters and one evening in uh, Los Angeles and the other evening in San Diego. So and. <sighs> The amazing, amazing thing about that was it was two completely different shows. Really? So it was a completely different set list. Only some some tunes were the same, and it was like both times like so. What what's going on now? So yeah, it was oh, really. I love it. Yeah, amazing. I have <laughs> I have seen them live at uh, at Cafe Jazz in London, mm -hmm. and I went with Stefan uh, to see them with that, and yeah, just tremendous there are yeah. some cool guys out there that, that yeah, play sure. the funk they play the funk yeah another <laughs> another band that maybe have to be mentioned at the moment is ghost note oh yes you've seen so, these guys <laughs> yeah i was I, I i saw them two times now i was one at the at the ronnie scott with stefan he brought me there and yeah 
Nothing yeah, we tried. <laughs> we, we, we tried to get tickets, me and Fabian, but it didn't yeah. work out. Like, they was yeah. sold out. They're, they're just so popular. Yeah, yeah, Stefan came up with that. So he said he has tickets. If I want to join, I can join. So yes, sure, <laughs> I come up to London. So <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, because we've known each other for several years now because you would come up to London quite frequently mm-hmm. and, and come to mm-hmm. the Funkestra gigs at the 606 and and we you would you would pop on you know come and join as a, as a guest yeah. drummer which yeah. was really lovely and really awesome to to get mm-hmm. to know you and then when I started to come over to Vienna that was when we started gigging and that's yeah, exactly three four years ago now yeah I, I can't remember the uh, it was 2018 I can remember because there our first gig at the Albertine the Passage was uh, at my birthday. So in hey! 2018. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. yeah, time has flown. Okay, so three years. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh, when we came up, I was already playing these gigs at the Albertine Passage. And yeah. I had a talk to Stefan and we, we were talking about bringing you over. Then I had a talk to Werner. And yeah, finally it all happened. <laughs> yes <Thankfully. laughs> i'm so happy and then history was made it was amazing yeah. and then we played we played all these amazing gigs at albertina and we even played which i brought up the other day in the live chat on yeah. struggle <laughs> was the time yeah. that we did earth wind and fire concert yes, for new exactly. year's eve oh new year's eve in wow. vienna <laughs> I was like yeah. ultimate like hmm, let yeah. me think if I want to do if I'd like to join you <laughs> for an earth wind and fire tribute I was like uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing yeah, it's a pretty fun band actually <laughs> so good what a joy our mum and dad came up for new year as well which is it was just perfect it was so amazing mm. to do that gig all these gigs that we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trying actually, when we talk about it, it's quite a lot, actually. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really do hope we, we can get back to that time. That that would be... Epic. I hope so, too. So, <laughs> And, yeah, it's... On the one hand, it's already a little bit frustrating, the whole situation. But on the other hand, it, I think it opened up some some space for new stuff. So, or... Mm, you I think it also was a time when you can just think of what you want to do where you want to go what you want to play what you want to don't play or so there are not only negative things yeah on this whole situation for my yeah but I I'm open for new gigs and getting back on stage now <laughs> <laughs> definitely so. I bet have you got some gigs in the like pipeline like for the summer are there sort of gigs that are penciled in at the moment uh yeah actually i think in the last week within the last week there were four gigs cancelled in summer like some bigger festivals uh one in in germany one in Liechtenstein, and two others in austria and they got cancelled just today and the last days so oh no and there's nothing i think it's two gigs left at the moment so, but we will see. So they say to open up again at the end of May or something in Austria. So we will see how things develop and if there's something popping up again. And yeah, otherwise, all those gigs that have been canceled now are postponed to the to next year. So we'll see. Boo. <laughs> it, however, so. You know, however it comes. Yeah. It's that like surrender yeah. point now. Whatever yeah. life brings at me, I will just take it and I will just smile. It's fine. <laughs> All gigs that are coming are great, of course. And it's like just a, a privilege and a bonus to have it. Definitely. And, yeah. So definitely the bonus for sure. Yeah. Because we love it so much. Times were getting better, so <laughs> I think. Yes, so definitely. I think you already you already are opening up in England as well. Like yeah, a, a yeah. Media, so. It's been quite strange to see people out and about like it used mm-hmm. to be. And yesterday, the sun mm-hmm. was just shining down. It was a really beautiful day. And I drove past this pub and it was packed, like completely yeah. full <laughs> of people in the in the beer garden. 
And it's really strange to see that amount of people. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe yeah. there was like 40 people or something. You know, it's not like it's thousands of people. Yeah, just strange, like how we can be yeah. such creatures of habit and kind of get yeah. used to a situation. And then when it all changes, you're like, whoa, like this is this is different. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are different. Like even the way or, or the, the things we are talking about, actually. Like I talked to my colleagues like, uh, where did you get your masks or where did you get tested or whatever? So it's like, <laughs> who had thought to talk about this maybe two years back or so? No, so. <laughs> that's so strange. Yeah, and did you already get your vaccination? And so, so that's all the topics that you're talking about. Yeah, the it's conversation. Like, uh, yeah, what are we talking about actually? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, what did we talk about before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, some other, some other life issues. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. The weather, probably. Excuse we're talking, uh, we were talking about what snare sounds to use on struggle. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what it was. It was yeah. okay. How can we make struggle the funkiest ever? the <laughs> disco beats going on yes i love it it's such a great track and it really has resonated with people as much as i really hope that it would mm -hmm. i think it being a word that is very close and relatable to what you know mm -hmm. people might have been going through over the last year yeah. and i'm really happy with how it's gone and single number three is funky i like it mm -hmm. and to introduce the musicians even more on the album as well now. It's really, really mm -hmm. great to have that opportunity so everyone can meet all the great people yeah. behind the sound. I love it. <laughs> it makes me really excited about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great song. So hey. and I have listened to it several times <laughs> since it came out again. Have so you? yeah. Yeah, that's really I like it. It's a good vibe and and I like it to to listen on it on a on a big PA mm -hmm. and turn up the volume and yeah sound sounds good good mixing and, yes yeah, definitely great sound. oh fantastic I'm so pleased you think so and it definitely is a song to put on loud and to mm. have a bit of a boogie to in the chorus the lyrics I feel meaningful and I'm very honest and I hope that people do relate yeah. to them and it helps them to give themselves a little bit, bit of a pep talk and to mm -hmm. not be so harsh on ourselves sometimes but yeah I love it <laughs> I really do love it as as a track it's nice to be bringing it out and I think it will be fun live as well I think so too <laughs> yay yes I don't know if I can bring all those snares we used <laughs> oh my gosh what did you use all the snare, I, I can't snare geeks out there <laughs> i can't remember actually but i uh i can't remember which snares we used but we used some snares and we all also tried to to put some stuff on the top to make it sound a little bit different and i think the uh fabian then did did some overlays with all those snares and that makes this the snare sound actually for this for this track so it was a bit of a challenge and try out a lot of things and, <laughs> but it came out pretty good <laughs> it came out really well i'm yeah. really happy with it it was a little bit experimental actually getting all those the snare the snare sound together <laughs> did you say that you've got like electronic like drum pads as well yeah 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 amazing yeah sweet yeah we can we can we can play around with that like do some trigger stuff and and put some other sounds on it and yeah so there are there are several options we have to definitely to make it to or to find the sound that we want to have so and the options like with those electronic sample pads are yeah there is no there is no end <laughs> so, yeah that's so good that, can, that that's really exciting yeah that's really exciting to see yeah how the how the sample pads can sound 
and Daphne with the, the triggers as well. That sounds really, really cool. Yeah, but I always love to have these these acoustic sound of the drum set mixed up with all the electronic stuff. And I think that's, for me, that's one of the interesting parts, like how, how much do you need from this side and how much do you need from the other side, like electronic and acoustic. And uh, yeah, the hybrid. There we go. It's the hybrid sound. Interesting thing. That's very common at the moment. A lot of people, like it's you, you see more more using drummer using these these uh, electronic sample pads and adding some stuff, electronic stuff to the normal acoustic drum drum. So that's yeah, a lot of options. I love it. <laughs> it makes you very excited. So yes, everyone out there, some live stuff. It will be yeah. happening, the Helena May project. It will. It will. And we can, will. of course, we can also sample the, the original sounds that are used on the, on the on the album. So, yes. mix it up with that, so Ooh. that you get the get the touch out from the album onto the stage. So so good. We're making yeah. plans, people. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. And there's also we've got plans for a music video filming that. Mm -hmm. Uh, we want to feature the guys in as well, the musicians. So ooh, oh. that's going to be coming yeah. up. <laughs> so definitely want to want to get you involved. Want to get you and the guys involved. Um, mm -hmm. So that'll be when I'm when I'm back in Austria. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. I'm so happy to have you on the album. Yeah, I'm happy that you wanted to have me on the album. So yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a big pleasure for me playing on this on your music and yeah, try to add some solid drumming on it. <laughs> yes, solid, <laughs> secure, and a team player. That was that was my description <laughs> <laughs> of Joe Backward Seppi. I thought I must ask: Have you got a favorite drum kit? <laughs> I'm I'm using quite a lot with uh, I also used it on on the recording is a it's called Tama Star Classic Bubinga. Uh, wow. Bubinga is a kind of wood. Uh, I think somewhere from Asia, if I'm not wrong. But I came across this kit maybe some 10, 12 years ago. I, I got to a music store and there was this kit set up and I just sat there and played and then I was, okay, that's my sound. I want to have this drum kit. And then I finally got it. And that's one of my favorite drum kits. And I like to play Tama drums in general. They fit pretty good in the in the in the in what my sound is or what my imagination of the sound is. So yeah. it works out pretty good. What do you imagine? Like, what's the sound that you want to give? At the moment, there's a lot of a lot of drummers using these old stuff, like the vintage stuff, like Ludwig and Gretsch and Rogers, and I like those drums too. But I don't know. I I'm more the I like the the modern sound a bit more. So I don't know. It's like a, a warm, like this Bubinga has a kind of warm mid mid frequency tone yeah that's what i like and i like when the drum is sounding like most of a lot of those vintage drums are pretty short from sound wise it's good for recording and it's an amazing sound like all the guys in the 70s and like all the funk motown stuff was recorded on those drums and yeah great sound of course mm. but when i use it like live i'm i think i like more a, a little bit modern sound mm. yeah yeah, that's my that's my thing. I want to do here actually, and yeah, it's a it's a kind of a kind of warm sound actually. That's nice. I don't I don't want to say that you don't get a warm sound with an old vintage <laughs> stuff, you know. Yeah. Hmm, no, it's great drum sets. No, no doubt about it. But it's your I'm more preferred the modern sound. Guy. Yeah, like your yeah. preferred sound and the sound that you you're happy with the sound yeah. that you get from it. So cool. So yeah, budding drummers yeah. out there. There we go. This is. Safi's <laughs> preferred <laughs> preferred vibes going on. Yeah, I'm I'm actually using English drum heads now. Okay, what are they? <laughs> yeah, uh, they are called cold drum heads. 
Um, that's a company from, from England. And they just came up here uh, a few months ago and uh, the same distribution company in Germany who I get my, where I get my symbols from, they also have these. And so I had the chance to try them out and they turned out to sound pretty good actually. So now I'm, I'm endorsing drum, uh, coach drum heads since a few weeks now. Oh, really? And yeah, I'm using Istanbul Mehmet symbols. Great. I was uh, going to ask about that. So, all right. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So, and Los Cabos Drum Seeks, that's a, a, a drum company from uh, a stick company from Canada. You've got it all, of, uh, all around the world. The whole kit is like <laughs> bits and pieces. Yeah. That's so cool. But, I think that's great, though, isn't it? The freedom of being a drummer even whatever specialty you're in as a musician you can pick and choose what sound you prefer yeah, i really found the symbols i like and they have a, a a big range of different symbols so you can get everything you want from them so that's so I, then i have not a big problem like or i'm i'm honored to to have them as a partner and then endorsing those companies but as you said like drums um i had i had endorsements before with different companies and now I don't have an endorsement at the moment, but it's okay because I can, I'm, I'm free and I can, I can, I choose whatever I want and what sounds best for me, I can play. So yeah, there is no rule that I have to use this or, and I have a pretty good partner, uh, a music store here in Austria. It's called Roadhouse Music Store. Check it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the owner is a pretty good friend of mine. We we became really good friends over the years now. We're working together and yeah, I have I think I have the best deal with him. So because whatever I need I can I I get from him and he's so uncomplicated and yeah, it works. So that's amazing. The Roadhouse Music Store near a smaller city in Austria. It's called Braunau and the village where his, his store is. Uh, is called Hochburg Ach, so that's near the German border. <laughs> maybe, maybe wow. some guys of the musicians know Burghausen. Burghausen is uh, is just at uh, at the other side of the river, which is already in Germany. Then, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, and yeah, Burghausen is known for a big jazz festival. So oh, we were so supposed cool. to play there as well. I but recognize. <laughs> yeah, but then COVID got in the way. Yeah, so this gig was cancelled then. So maybe we can do it next year or so. Yeah, that would be amazing for sure. Mm. That would be wonderful. Just again, I'm very thankful that you're on the album. I'm really, really looking forward to playing with you again. It's going to be really nice. And just in general to like see each other in person and be like, hey. Yes, yeah, hopefully we can make it in June when you come back to Vienna. Yes. Maybe. So definitely so. I think yes. maybe there will be something going on already again in Vienna or in Austria in general. And so we can meet somewhere and maybe have a drink or some ice cream. Oh, yes. <laughs> Vienna does very good ice cream. Well, we know a really good ice bar, which is awesome. Yes, <laughs> yes we'll come on down. Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Alrighty. Yes. Yeah, thanks for having me too. So it's a pleasure. Yeah, it was so being nice part, to talk. being part of this. So it's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, Seppi. And Seppi is playing on the single Struggle. So if you haven't checked it out yet, everybody, go and check out the drum skills going on on this track. <laughs> and the bass and the guitar and the keys, and the production, and the vocals. And the singing. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Pete Simpson on backing vocals as well. Yeah. <laughs> what a dude. But thank you, Seppi. It's been so nice thank to you. talk to you. Yes, very nice. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>